Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 27th and 28th, Wednesday and Thursday, for my birthday, Aries. Hello, Aries. How are you? Hope you're doing wonderful. Okay, this is the shorter reading, so I just used my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy, and this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? My longer readings from April 1st to the 15th, I just posted them yesterday. The energy when I was doing those readings was very, very intense. So, hope you like them, hope it resonates, but hope you enjoy watching. Now, one of the things we need to know is that finally, finally, Mercury has been going retrograde, so it's been going backwards. It is now, the 28th is that last day, so it should start going direct again. Thank you. You know, I don't know if it's been affecting you or not, but I know that I posted a bunch of videos a week or so ago that had no sound. Oh well, that's okay. But the thing about this for you is that, you know, not just for you, this is for everyone, that sometimes when it's going, when it's going back direct, because it's not quite where it was when it was going backwards. Does that make sense? Um, you do revisit things, okay? So just be aware that things that you might have uh, left undone, you'll have to revisit. Responsibilities that you didn't possibly live up to, you might have to revisit. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut the cards, and then we're going to pull three out and see what we're at. Okay, the first two cards are coming up reversed. A little more power to the message. Glasses on so I can see. And let's see what we've got going on for our Aries. Okay, release Archangel Azrael. And this is the end of a phase or a situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. You know, I you know, this is this time for you. I mean, I really feel... And, I, and again, I, I believe, now when I give a message out, even my long readings, it's not, it doesn't stay in my head. It's like, again, once I deliver it, it's gone. But I'm feeling, I think that this is actually the start of a lot of this release, a lot of what's going to be going on for you. It's, it's like, you know, it's, it's letting go of that old and moving on to that um, new, okay? And I think the new is going to be pretty positive for you. I really do, and I really feel that there's a lot of Aries that are actually going to be developing, they're going to be developing their, their connection with whoever this is, their divine, spiritual guides, higher power, um, you know, guardian angels. It's like, you're connect, you're, it's like you are going to, you, you have come through the fire, you know, you've gone through the fire. Yes, you are a fire sign, but it's like you've gone through the fire and you know it's only because of divine help that you've gotten to that point, okay? And it's like you're kind of, you're reconnecting now, whereas before it was more of a need. Now it's more of an appreciation. Okay, hope that means something to somebody out there. Okay, here's your next card. It is reversed. We have the three of fire, and that is your energy. And this is abundance. Things look good, very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So this is saying that as this energy is starting to change for you, you can start planning for that future again. You can start, you know, you can start having hope again. You can start really thinking about, hey, this life is getting, life is pretty good right now. And life is going to get only better, okay? So let's go on and, you know, and actually too, I'm feeling, you know, remember we talked way back when about a rela about relationships and there were some, some um, you know, constraint, not, I don't know if it's constraint or it was just something that, uh, well, I'm feeling that, I'm not necessarily saying it's that same relationship, but I'm feeling new relationships, I'm feeling a new phase in a relationship, okay? So it could be that somebody comes into your life. It could be that it's a relationship that actually goes to that next level. But I'm feeling like a new phase, and it's going to be a positive phase. Okay? So let's go to this last card, the lovers. Now, this card was face down. All of these cards were face down. 
the lovers, Archangel Raphael, because I was feeling this relationship thing going on. Now, this could be this Wednesday and Thursday that maybe, you know, I'm kind of feeling like, you know, you're going out or you're just, and it might even just be like to the library or it might be grocery shopping or going out to um, get a coffee or, you know, something like this, but you're just kind of like, you know, this confidence and all that. And, and um, you might be taking somebody with you. You might pick up something to bring back to somebody. Um, you know, but I'm just feeling that, yeah, this is, this is going to be, this is going to be two days where relationship energy is going to be wonderful. Okay. So this is intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decision. Good health. And I mean, this is all, these are two really great, these are two really great days. You've got Archangel energy, you know, surrounding this abundance. You know, it's a win-win for you. It's a win-win for you. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Okay? Okay. So, as always, my Aries, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.